KFNN. Headline News Update. Just about to wrap up the month of June. Got another one, three days or two and a half days of trading. And then we push on to July. So let's look at this. We're looking at the Dow down 532 points at 25,213. Took out yesterday's low by just a fraction so far. This is just, this is really interesting. When you make the, in the chap wave, when you make that lowercase h pattern, remember we were talking about the template? Usually that, oh, and I said yesterday, it was really important session because it held the 50 period moving average. It should have had a big red candle like today, yesterday. Those stalling patterns create a kind of um, usurping of downside energy. It doesn't add to the upside, it just as the downside energy is being usurped. But at the same time, that 24,843 level, that is going to be critical. So we're 400 points above that, 500 points. Let's see how we close the day and see what happens over the next few days. Look at the S&P. S&P is also down quite sharply. The S&P is down uh, 50 points at uh, 3,033. Uh, it's the same thing. The last few sessions have had lower lows, not serious lower lows, but they're lower lows and lower highs. The H formation is forming. And not only that, you've got the MACD very weak in both the down the S&P and the stochastic is also weak at 43% here, but the on balance volume is being good. And that's suggesting that there's some internal strength. Both of them have now given signals. Finally, today, the S&P has got nine period underneath the 14 period. Let's see how we close, but this is saying that, yeah, be careful, the upside is going to be very limited. We'll see how the downside is. 29.74 is going to be absolutely critical to hold. QQQ, one, two, three, there we go. The NDX 100 is now down three at 243. Here we're still looking at lower lows and lower highs for the last three days. But what's really important is even as we're coming down like this, it's trying to rally. It's trying to hold above that 14 period moving average. MACD is weak, stochastic is weak, and yet the line period is way above the 14 period. That is going to give some kind of internal strength. And this is a whopper of a close to down the downside, another two points down from where we are, and then follow through on Monday. That'll say, okay, now we've got the signal we're looking for with all the all the indices in the same category. If you're looking at the IWM, the IWM. WM is down a little bit more than the others, but it's actually a little higher than yesterday's uh, low. Okay, I'll talk about this in the, in the next, uh, the, oh, what a program I've got coming up. We're going to talk about chart patterns. We're going to talk about what's working. It should be really exciting. I hope you can be there for the Tiger Technicians Hour. That's my show coming up in another couple of minutes. Check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. We've got some stuff that are up sharply today.